I think it's time for another introduction. So my name is Manuel and I'm currently living abroad. This is the reason why I created this YouTube channel because I wanted to share my adventures. And unfortunately, it's also the time of a global pandemic. So I had to change a lot of plans and need to adjust constantly um, where I'm going and what I do. Um, all my plans started um, a year ago when uh, I won the lottery. What? Yes, not what you might think. I didn't win like millions and if you just clicked on the title to see me spend shitloads of money... No, that's not what I meant. I won the visa lottery for work and travel visa in Canada. Canada is one of the few countries who offer a work and travel visa for people who are older than 30 years, like me. So I applied. And Canada is very popular as a work and travel destination, so the application outnumber the available places for German citizens by many times, and therefore they created this kind of lottery. In January 2020, I thought, let's just give it a try. And one month later, I got accepted. So my plan was to go to Canada in summer 2020, but then the pandemic started. So I had to rearrange and yeah, do a lot of adjustments. So I postponed my plans and um, carefully monitored how the whole situation developed. And uh, in summer 2020, things got a little bit better, but it also uh, was very clear that COVID will stay for a very long time. So yeah, I needed to take a decision. I try to see what's still possible and, of course, what is safe to do. In October, after many months of like working from home and social distancing, I really needed this sabbatical more than ever and it became clear to me that I need to pause my job now. So I yeah, began in October and um, this is when the whole story started. From the early days of the pandemic, um, Canada set in place a travel restriction for all touristic travels. So you can't visit Canada anymore uh, up until today. And uh, I was still allowed to enter the country because I got this visa uh, granted before. And to activate it, I was still able to fly to Canada. But you can't come as a tourist right now. However, I developed a plan B for the case that I um, couldn't enter Canada anymore. This is how I discovered La Réunion and I immediately fall in love with the idea to live several weeks on this beautiful island. In the end, it was even more tempting to go to La Réunion than move to Canada directly and face a very long winter there. So I thought, yeah, why not just um, go to La Réunion first and then postpone the Canada uh, movement a little bit and uh, start a little bit later there. When you successfully apply for a visa in Canada, you get a, a port of entry letter. This is valid for a year, so you need to uh, travel to Canada within this year to activate your visa. And from your day of arrival, your visa is valid for one year. This is uh, at least how it is for Germans. And uh, so I had time until February 2021 to activate uh, my visa and from there on it is valid for one year. So my letter expires this February. However, it is still uh, possible to um, postpone the deadline because of COVID. I thought about postponing it and traveling to and travel to Canada a little bit uh, later. But what would I do? Nothing. The shell has spoken! Nothing. We can't just sit here and do nothing. I would just sit in Munich with my job on pause and nothing to do, just hanging in a very long lockdown. So I thought if I have to social distance myself, I would rather do it in the beautiful and very remote nature of Canada. In order to be able to enter Canada, it was required to have a job offer. So I sent out applications to different employers in Canada and I got accepted after like just one day. So I thought, okay, that's a good sign, I should go. 
After Christmas, I did a COVID test because I had a slight headache and I just didn't want to risk to spread any kind of virus to others. So uh, just to be sure, I did a COVID test. The test was positive, which shocked me completely because I met my family in the days before the test. I myself didn't have any typical or severe symptoms. I just hoped that I didn't pass uh, the virus to someone else. Luckily, it turned out that I didn't spread the virus uh, to anyone uh, that I had contact with, which I'm really, really happy about. I'm still not sure where I caught it, because after I returned from La Réunion, I was in quarantine for uh, 10 days, and then I uh, social distanced uh, the days before Christmas. I just met uh, two friends, and uh, I must have caught it in the supermarket or in the train while wearing a mask, and um, yeah, uh, was completely unprepared for this uh, kind of outcome of the COVID test. I felt very sorry to cause a quarantine for my whole family and my flatmates and uh, I of course had to go in quarantine as well. So I stopped all my organizational efforts to go to Canada because it was not clear at all if I could go um, and uh, if I will be uh, recovered um, at the end of the quarantine. The planned quarantine for me would have ended two days before my flight um, was booked. So um, I also had to do another COVID test in order to uh, enter the plane. And uh, that was, of course, uh, necessary to be negative. After the first days in quarantine, my symptoms, which were almost not existing, got uh, better and it got quite clear that uh, this was all that I got from COVID. So I was pretty happy that, um, yeah, I didn't suffer so much from it. And I thought about if it is possible that I could somehow um, get my flight, even though I just have like two days of preparation left. And there are so many things to do before you uh, leave uh, for Canada. I mean, I had to get all my stuff out of my room in order to sublet it. I had to buy some things. I had to print out all the visa documents and come up with a quarantine plan for my time or my first 14 days in Canada. And uh, I really felt super stressed out and um, was not sure if I could make it, but uh, I just tried. Why not? Do or do not. There is no try and um, try to make um, a very structured schedule what I should do in which hour in order to manage everything in this limited amount of time. Anyway, I don't have anything to lose, so I just tried to keep on going and try to do and prepare myself as best as possible. And on January 11th, um, I started my journey to Canada. I'm very, very happy that everything turned out good in the end and uh, that I'm now in Canada and can enjoy my time here. Uh, next time I'm going to show you what I did during my another 14 days of quarantine and then I'm going to give you an update what I'm doing here right now in Canada. So stay tuned. See you next time. Bye bye.